Can you give them any um, tidbits about how they can, what's the best way for them to move forward if they want to be more involved with wine once they get out after their final year? Yeah, next year? I mean, you know, uh, wine is a big topic as we all know. And if the, the access of wine and the way the wine world has evolved, it's not the easiest thing to find and afford because, you know, of all the different taxes, duties and stuff. But I think that the best way to be connected is to kind of, you know, follow people on social media, read as much as possible. If you have a chance of uh, tasting, you know, get a group together. And what I did when I was, you know, back in the day, I kind of formed a group of six, eight, 10 people, and we all kind of put in X amount of dollars or into a pot, and then we used to buy wine uh, once a month and then kind of sit around and taste it and kind of, you know, read the, like, you know, read a topic or like what other region, maybe buy wine from that region and taste it and understand it, you know, cause it's a big topic, it's diverse. You have to start, even though sometimes you feel overwhelmed by not starting it, cause you're always, there's so much to learn. When you start chipping at it in a small way, you will learn better than if you didn't chip at all. So it's something which is very important to do if you're interested. The first thing is to educate yourself about wine because by reading and studying and tasting, travel and see the place, it just, you know, just solidifies the idea of what the wines you're tasting. You have to have the job opportunities. So that means that the restaurateurs, wherever they are in India and in anywhere in Asia and the world, they have to kind of accept that they want someone is. Once they want someone is, if you have the qualifications, but sometimes that you know, my experience in India, uh, specifically and a lot of parts of Asia is that, that they just want to have a wine list without someone who's the, present. So it's that convincing the restaurateurs that you do need someone who is going to help them with their beverage program because the beverage usually is almost a third of, of, of revenue. And, and maybe that's not the same case in all parts of Asia, but in, in definitely in the U.S. is a third. And that's how you're going to convince them to kind of make your role uh, seem important because it is important because of course a restaurant serves food but in this growing world people also want a great cocktail or a beer and of course wine so how are you going to make yourself uh, useful and make sure that that the restaurateurs hire sommeliers or, or beverage managers for a great hospitality career call 9831050000